What's going on, people? So I recorded some stuff earlier, thought that I was done, went out on a little TCB or whatever you want to call it, and along with that, ended up buying another pair of shoes, right? So now I'm back knocking out one more video, hopefully just the one more video for today, right? So you can kind of tell from this box that it comes from Finish Line, or this bag, I should say. The box does nothing to identify where it came from. And it's pretty interesting in some ways. I mean, maybe not interesting, I don't think that's the right word, but it's something that I'm gonna talk about. I'll give it at least that. So I had been looking at a pair of these, right? I saw them on the old Nike site and I was like, you know, maybe when those come around, I'll pick up a pair. They look fairly decent, right? And luckily, since like Finish Line happened to have them, I was able to take advantage of some like in-store things or whatever. And instead of paying 110 for them, I paid $93, right? So, you know, there was like some kind of discount, you add in some tax, whatever. Either way, about 20-ish dollars under what Nike would have asked me to pay them, right? And then they probably would have wanted some taxes too on top of it. So, it worked out pretty well for me, you know? I didn't get like the color that I necessarily like wanted the most or whatever, but sometimes it's kind of one of those things where you pick up something and you just kind of see like how it works out for you. And then later on, depending on what the price of these things are like, then later on, you at least know when you see like the color that does speak to you, what you're getting into, right? And it's not like I, I'm stuck with these forever. I mean, like I said in the past videos, my brother wears the same size, so some stuff that doesn't stick around here just goes over to there. Anyways, here's some stuff on the side there for people that like to see the stuff on the sides of there. And what is this? Like particle gray? Yeah. So all that good stuff, right? All that stuff you see on the side. So these right here, right? Let's go ahead and get these out of the box. It's one of those move to zero things, so the box is very minimalistic. Though not all of them do that. Some of them still put the paper in there or the paper in the shoe. Not this particular time around. So I didn't really look a whole lot at these when I was in the store because you, you should, right? Like you totally should, but I, I don't because I just don't care enough most of the time. So now I'm looking at them to see if there's anything wrong with them. And, you know, there's some minor things here and there, little, like, blemishes from just mass producing or whatever and not paying a whole lot of attention to every single pair that comes by you. So, nothing, like, that's going to make me want to take these back or anything. There's some minor crap that honestly just doesn't really matter. So I was right to not care. But anyway, so let's go ahead and go ahead and talk about these, do the whole review thing, as I kind of alluded to. This is the Nike Air Max Dawn in the particle gray and dark citron colorway. There are also some other colors that are attached to these. I think like Armory Navy was one of them. So if you look at like the Nike site, they often have like a larger list of color titles. Whereas the box only has like one or two, something like that. Two or three, whatever. Either way, let's go ahead and do this thing so it doesn't get dragged out like crazy long like I usually do. Down there across the bottom, right? What you're looking at, it's kind of a weird sort of look, at least in my opinion, because it's got this sort of wavy thing going on. Supposedly that's supposed to help with like traction and whatnot. It just looks like it wouldn't, but I'm gonna take Nike's word for it and see how it works out. But I'll probably maybe say something as a follow-up at some point perhaps, but if you want that, like you're probably gonna have to pay close attention to like me and like, that'll probably be like an Instagram thing or something. But either way, you got that going on, right? So, jumping up over here to the midsole and whatnot, standard foamy type things in the front area. You got some air bubble thing going, in the, going on in the back area. Kind of looks like a mouth guard if you look at it from the right angles. But either way, there you go. That's pretty much what's going on down there, right? Now, taking a look at all this shoe here so you can kind of get an idea of what this thing is all about you know give you that glimpse or whatever so you can kind of get a good idea get your mind wrapped around it before we go talking about it and so now that that's going gone on by the wayside let's go ahead get down in here and knock out these little details and close-up pictures and whatnot to make up for me sitting so far from the camera now down here, right around the toe box area, right, you got some suede stuff going on. Nothing amazing, right? But keep in mind that when I talk about the materials on here and I say that they're pretty decent, it's pretty decent for a $110 price tag, okay? It's like US dollars, none of that Canadian or Hong Kong or whatever. I don't know what those conversions are. We're talking US around here. Now, 
Like I said, you got some suede going on, some kind of dark bluish. I guess that's that navyish color, perhaps. I don't know, but you got that happening, right? This feels pretty decent though, again, like I said. And then above that, kind of mixed in here, you have other bits of that as well. But th these lines here that are down here towards the bottom part, it's kind of the same color, it's fairly close. But these feel a little more like felt or something than, than this part down here does. You can probably see that there's a slight difference if you look at the pictures and whatnot. But, you know, I just kind of point that out. So maybe if you didn't notice it, maybe you do notice it now. I don't know. Either way, the rest of this here, making this whole upper up, is going to be some sort of a mesh thing. That's like that lightish gray or whatever, the particle gray that they called it. And then down here in the middle area, you've got this little bitty swoosh, right? And some kind of yellowish type color. So... Moving along over here to the side and whatnot, basically what you see on the side is everything you saw on the front, just with a slightly different layout. That's generally how these shoes work, right? So here you've got like the swoosh thing, which is gonna be the same felt type feeling as these lines here, not quite what you saw down there. And then just above that, like lining down here at the bottom of the laces and stuff, that's gonna match up with more of what you saw in the toe box, right? And so now let's step back all the way to the back area here. So. We have these heel cup type areas like this little these layers it's kind of a cool design at least in my opinion you know the way they did that so you got those two layers and that's going to be similar to what you saw more so on the front well no excuse me more so on the, the lined area not not the toe box right this is like that softer felt type feel so you got that happening then at the very bottom you got like the stiffer plastic and whatnot to kind of hold things in position so there's that for you Switching around to the very back on this little pull tab type thing, you have Nike and cursive, right? Which is a thing that not everybody can do anymore. It's kind of, you know, just going away, you know, slowly going the way of the buffalo, as they say. Not a lot of people say that, but some dudes in Washington say it. Anyways, so that's a lot of what's going on with the outside of the shoe. Like I said before, when you saw the pictures, you probably knew, like, yeah, it's a lot of, like, this light grayish, this dark bluish, and some yellow, right? Yeah. But let's go ahead and finish up things on the front here, right? So coming back to these laces, kind of covering this whole thing. So you got the, just these flat, standard white laces, nothing too crazy about them. On the lace tips, they are equally plain, right? It's just, just plain white, so yeah. Moving back though, behind there, you have this sort of meshy style tongue, right? Which is the same sort of mesh feel that you have on these outside areas of the upper. Just this part's gonna be white. And then as you get to the top, you've got a somewhat clear, well, I don't know if you want to call it clear, but you can almost kind of see into there because like that orange is so vibrant. But either way, you've got Nike and the swoosh at the top. Then on the back end of that, you've got whatever that says on the back end of that, right? I don't read things all the time because that's what pictures are for. So there you go. That's pretty much everything. The one thing I will say though about this particular tongue, I do like that it's got a nice little bit of padding on the back end and all that good stuff. So almost like a little blanket in there, you know? So that's kind of cool. Gives you a little bit of an extra comfort feeling, you know? But we'll get into that in a minute. So let's talk about this inside and whatnot. See that down in there? Not a whole lot, right? So this should be fairly quick. Now you just got the white stuff going on on the side here. You got the gray insole, black and peach color, pink color, whatever you want to call that for the swoosh. And then as far as like the rest of the inside goes, there's nothing really going on in there. Like I was saying before, you got the mesh outside and there's no extra protection on the inside like those previous shoes I was talking about, which is good, you know, breathability and whatnot comes into play with stuff like that. So I believe that is enough out of me when it comes to talking about these things here. And I will say, since I didn't really say it exactly, the back end area, like where, the, where your heel would be, feels pretty nice. Doesn't feel as nice as this tongue though, but you know, again, $110, right? Again, US dollars. Don't go getting all weird on me, people. Now, that's pretty much everything as far as the visual goes. So we'll go ahead and we'll knock out the whole, like, you know, my personal thoughts, and we'll do some sizing and stuff. Personally, right, like, I'm, I'm on board with these, right? I'll get into the second reason as to why with the whole, how the comfort and stuff, but just know that that's a thumbs up. But as far as like the visual and stuff goes, these right here, they didn't initially jump out at me this particular colorway, but it's fine, right? 
It's not the best one I've seen, but I wouldn't have given them, given them money for it if it wasn't at least okay. And so getting, getting past that, now that I've had some time to actually look at these up close and kind of go through the whole thing, because I didn't really do that in the store. This was my first time looking at them, really, honest, to be completely honest. And yeah, these are looking pretty good in my personal opinion, right? They got this nice blend of like the older 70s, 80s style running shoes, but with like a slightly modern twist to them, which is a thing that I'm kind of into. So all that combined, it comes out looking pretty decent, you know? I was a little skeptical at first, you know, when I first saw the initial pictures on, on the internets and whatnot, but sometimes you just gotta look a little closer and get you a real opinion, right? Which is why I buy things sometimes. It's it's a costly costly way to figure stuff out, but it usually works out. Most of the time it works out. And this time is one of those times when it worked out. So that's pretty alright in my book. But yeah, past that, other than just saying that I like them and whatnot, don't have a lot to say. Just gotta stretch that out just enough to get all those pictures rotated through, you know what I'm saying? So there's that. Should have been enough time, right? Anyways, sizing. People like to hear about that, so I'm gonna tell you about that. These right here, I bought in a nine and a half because my true size foot size is nine and a half, right? And on Air Maxes, that tends to work out for me. So I did that here, worked out like I expected it to. So what that means to me, or to you, however you wanna look at it, I would say whatever other size you buy in your average Air Max shoe or a shoe of this nature, stick with that, right? However, however, one thing I will say, there's not a whole lot of room in here because again, they are kind of like running, based off like running shoes, which aren't known to be super roomy for the most part. So don't expect to have a whole lot of room in here. So if you're like worried about that or whatever, I don't know what to tell you, like as far as like comparisons or whatever, cause I still feel like they fit like my other Air Maxes do. But whatever you generally would do in that type of situation when you're like concerned or whatever, just do that, all right? Leave me out of it. Anyways, past that, as far as like the midsole and all that stuff goes, these right here in the back end, you definitely got like the, the standard air bubble comfort going on. You got some foam stuff in the front. So if you're cool with walking around in like Hirachis or Prestos, Air Max 1s, Air Max what, 90s, you know, things like that, you're going to be cool with these because it's a very similar feel, at least in my opinion. I've only worn these a little bit though, right? So I can only speak on them for here, but... Nike tends to have this Air Max thing pretty well locked in as far as how to make them feel pretty comfortable, right? So that, that's a plus. So yeah, overall, I'm thinking this is going to be a solid all-day shoe and it's breathable. I kind of alluded to that slightly earlier in the video, but yeah, summer's coming up. I think this will be a good one if you can find the right color and the right price. I think you'll be okay. So past that, I think I've covered everything that I wanted to cover and some stuff that wasn't completely necessary to cover. So we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. From me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. I, I said earlier that I might go see Ballyhoo tonight. I'm kind of leaning towards not doing that because I've done a lot of stuff today and I kind of don't want to do any more, you know, but it, it's, it's only 2.30, right? On today, which is February 19th in case anybody cares. So, you know, the show isn't still till eight. So we'll see what happens between now and then. For now, like I said, I'm gonna go and find something to do. You should find something to do too since the video's over. Later, people. So, uh, what do you do down there all day? TCB. You know, taking care of business. <laughs>